our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thanks for that inspirational prayer, Henry. Speaking of religious things, did you hear about the living stations? I think I have. Let's have Victoria and Tori talk to us about it. Take it away, gals. The 8th grade class of 2014 is getting ready for the school's annual living stations of the cross. The Passion of the Christ is a very important event in our church's history. Every year, the 8th graders act out the passion while reading off the world's injustices. The priest often reads prayers for many tragedies such as famine, poverty, and diseases. Victoria interviewed Noah, one of the actors of the stations. How do you feel about acting in this sacred event of our church's history? Um, I'm really nervous, actually, but I'm still excited at the same time, but I feel like I'm going to mess up. Why? Well, because I've never really acted before. And I kind of laugh at stupid things at times. <laughs> How are you going to prepare for this role? Um, well, we're going to practice, and I'll probably like learn about how Jesus lived and stuff. Thank you, Victoria, for that interview with Noah. The Living Stations will be performed on Thursday, April 17th at 12.30 p.m. in the church. They will be performed again on Good Friday, April 18th at 3 p.m. Huh, that was pretty interesting, don't you think? Yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm looking forward to watching the 8th graders reenact the living stations. In other interesting news, the Science Olympiad went to regionals! Good for them. Patricia and I actually have a, had the luck of being able to talk to two of the members, David and Sydney. Wow, cool. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Rebecca, and I'm here with David, a member of the St. Gilbert School Science Olympiad team. What normally occurs during a Science Olympiad meeting? We... Uh, we um, look for stuff to put in our binders so that during the competition we can remember everything we've learned and it's kind of like we find notes. Okay, that sounds, that sounds reasonable. Um, what normally occurs at the competition? We uh, go to our events. Usually everyone has from two to four events and there are two categories. There's building events and there's uh, test events. So for test events you basically just use your notes and take this 50-minute test. Um, and for building events, at home you build something like a tower or a helicopter, and then at the science Olympi at the competition you test it. Okay, that that sounds cool. Um, what does the team normally do to prepare for science Olympiad? We make sure we have everything in the binders. We make sure that everyone kind of knows their stuff. We, and we make sure that we didn't forget anything because, you know, if you turn up without your binder, it's not going to go well. That makes perfect sense. Um, what are some of the more interesting projects you have worked on for Science Olympiad? Well, one that I did this year was called Boom Lover, and you basically make a crane boom. It was pretty interesting because it's, you're used to building stuff vertically, uh, but this had to be built horizontally out from a wall. Hmm. That actually sounds really cool. Um, how did the team do at this year's Science Olympiad competition? Uh, we did okay. Not as good as we wanted to. Hi, I'm Patricia, and I'm here today with Sydney Pilling, who recently competed in the Regional Science Fair. So, Sydney, what project did you enter into the fair? I brought Swimming Faster. It's um, to test what material will propel a swimmer faster through the water. Oh, that sounds interesting. What other projects did you see while you were at the fair? I saw one where a boy shocked himself until his body couldn't handle it, and it was pretty cool to see his board and his paper and how he... Well, that sounds interesting, but also kind of painful. <laughs> so do you have any advice for any incoming 7th graders that want to go to science fair? Definitely get your proposal um, checked by Dr. Rickert the summer before. So then you can do the project, the paper before, because that gives you a lot of free time to look it over, and you're not rushed um, at the end in you know, January or December whenever you um, do turn it in. Um, so it looks perfect in the way you want it. That's really good advice. Thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. Seems like a great time to play some sports, right? 
Yeah, but I wonder. You wonder what? I wonder if the weather's going to be all right when they actually play. Good thing one of the second graders prepared something about the weather. Well then, and now the weather. Good morning. My name is PJ. Today, today's date is Friday, April 4th, 2014. Just down day. The high temperature will be about 55 degrees. Not too high, not too low. The low temperature will be about 29 degrees. It is going to rain today. There will be rain showers today. The sky should be cloudy. The wind will be 25 miles per hour. Today would be a good day to play inside and watch TV and relax. Sorry, sorry everyone. We just finished up our track run. Speaking of track, Liam was just talking about it. Take it away, Liam. Uh, Liam here was one of the track stars, Sean. So, Sean, here's some questions. Can you name six events in track? Well, there's field events and races. Some of the field events are high jump, long jump, softball throw, and shot put. And then some of the races are the mile run, 800, some relays, and a 50 dash. Cool. What do you guys do in track practice? Well, first we warm up by doing some stretches and doing a few laps around the school parking lot. And then we do a mile run and then stretch some more. What is your favorite sport that you participate in? Well, I like to do the high jump and the mile. Cool. Thank you for your time, Sean. I wonder if there are any other sports going on right now. Actually, I think there are some other sports going on right now. Really? Like what? I think Patricia actually mentioned something about sports. Well then, we should let her do it. Take it away, Patricia. Hi, I'm here today with Sydney, a player on our school's softball team. So Sydney, how long have you been playing softball for St. Gilbert? Two years. And how many girls are on your team this year? Twelve to thirteen. Oh, well, that sounds like a big team. So what are some of the positions that they play? Uh, catcher, pitcher, first base, second base, third base, short, top, right field, center field, and left field. So you can basically play anywhere in the field. There's just nine positions that you can play. And then after that, you hit. Sounds like a lot of options. So what other teams do you guys play in your games? Different Catholic school teams. Mm -hmm. So kind of like with basketball or volleyball. Yeah. So how's your team been doing so far? We've only been practicing, but we've been doing really good. A lot better than last year's team, because last year we were not very good at all. Well, thank you for coming out today. Good luck to you guys. Thanks. Wow, they really is great weather for sports. It's also good weather to go out and maybe see a show. Oh yeah, that's right. The junior high is putting is putting on a production of Joseph and the Amazing Catch My Color Dream Coat. They even made a commercial. Hi, do you want a fun, exciting way to see the Bible? Then come see Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Gym Co. Admission is only ten dollars for adults and seven for the kids to see an amazing experience of singing and dancing that retells the famous Bible story of Joseph, son of Jacob. Come see it either tonight or tomorrow, which is Saturday, April 5th. I wouldn't miss it because everybody's going to see it. I'm Mr. Urban, and I really like this play. It is exciting, and the performers are fantastic. Come and see it! Thanks for watching this week's episode. See you every lunchtime, every Friday. Stay classy, St. Gilbert.